Have you ever wondered why some negotiations fail while others succeed? The answer often lies in common mistakes that can drastically influence the outcome. Today, we're delving into the world of negotiation errors. We'll walk you through seven frequent pitfalls that many fall into during negotiations. From lack of preparation to succumbing to pressure, these missteps can make or break your negotiation process. Understanding these common mistakes and learning how to sidestep them can significantly enhance your negotiation prowess. Knowing these common mistakes and how to avoid them can significantly improve your negotiation skills. The first common mistake is the lack of preparation. Entering negotiation without thorough research is like walking blindfolded into a maze. It's risky and can lead to unfavorable outcomes. Preparation is key, equipping you with valuable insights. A well-prepared negotiator has a higher chance of success. The second mistake is being too rigid or inflexible. This stubbornness can lead to a deadlock in discussions. It's crucial to be adaptable, open to compromise, and ready to pivot when necessary. Flexibility aids in finding a middle ground. Remember, negotiation is a two-way street. Third on our list is poor communication. In negotiations, it's vital to be clear, concise, and respectful. Misunderstandings can derail discussions, while clarity fosters mutual understanding. Remember, your words carry weight. Good communication can make or break a negotiation. Mistake number four is not building relationships. Fostering a connection with your negotiation counterpart is vital. Trust and rapport can turn adversaries into allies, making negotiations smoother. Remember it's about collaboration, not competition. Negotiations are more successful when built on mutual respect and understanding. Fifth common mistake is ignoring the BATNA. BATNA, or best alternative to a negotiated agreement, is your fallback plan if negotiations fail. It's your safety net, your leverage. Understanding your BATNA gives you the upper hand. Always know your BATNA before entering a negotiation. Mistake number six is failing to listen. Active listening is a critical component of negotiation. It's not just about hearing words, but understanding the other party's perspective and needs. By truly listening, we gain insight into their motivations. Listening can often provide the key to a successful negotiation. The final mistake is succumbing to pressure. In the heat of negotiations, it's easy to make hasty decisions. But remember, these rushed choices can lead to unfavorable outcomes. Stay calm, collected, and don't let pressure dictate your decisions. To wrap things up, let's quickly review the common mistakes we've discussed. First, the lack of preparation. Always do your homework. Second, inflexibility. Be open to compromise. Third, poor communication. Be clear and concise. Fourth, not building relationships. Remember to invest in rapport. Fifth, ignoring the BATNA. Know your best alternative. Sixth, failing to listen. Always be attentive. Lastly, succumbing to pressure. Stay composed and focused. Avoid these common mistakes and you'll be well on your way to becoming a master negotiator.